Hey there, I'm Srini Rao, the founder of Notion Essentials, and today what I want to talk to you about is how you set up your Notion workspace. Uh, because of the fact that it's a blank slate when you first get into Notion and there are so many things that you can do, it actually tends to be really confusing as you'll see here. Um, you know, if you press basically plus or, or you know slash, you'll see there's so many different things you can do. You can add headings, you can add pages, you can add all sorts of stuff. And so as a result, if you're not careful, it can just turn into a giant mess. And so I want to talk about how you set this up in a way that actually allows you to get the most out of Notion. Uh, because once you actually give it a structure, that's really where it becomes powerful. So the first thing you really have to do to make this work is to identify what actually is important, what you want to remember, what you want to organize, what you want to take action on. And the way that I think about this is in basically three categories. There are projects, which are the things that you're working on on a regular basis. There are tasks, which have sort of uh, you know a, a timeline in which they need to be completed, as well as notes. And as I mentioned at the, the start of this, the big thing here is structure, right? Because if you don't have any sort of structure to how you're organizing your Notion, then uh, it just ends up being this giant mess. So chances are you probably have had this experience of a thousand different folders on your desktop or a thousand different files and you can't find anything. And if you don't organize Notion or give it some sort of organizing principle, then you're just going to recreate the same mess uh, inside of Notion that you have elsewhere, which will completely defeat the purpose. So let's talk about two different ways that you can organize your Notion workspace. The first one is called the Action Method. It's based on a book by Scott Belsky, uh, who is now, I believe, a product guy at Adobe, but you know, founded Behance as well as 99U. And it's called the Action Method. And it's really, really powerful for organizing projects because basically uh, you can actually customize Notion according to the Action Method. And I'll show you an example here in just a second. But uh, the Action Method basically consists of this sort of idea that everything is a project. So for example, let's say that you are writing a blog post and that blog post is going to be done at some point. So that becomes a project or you're planning a vacation. That's a project. So within every single project, you have action steps, which are the things that you need to do or take action on. You have reference materials. Um, and then you have things that just don't really uh, matter right now or may not be actionable. So let's go back to that idea of planning a vacation. So for example, if you're planning a vacation, an action step might be to book a flight, a reference material, or something that's a reference material would be considered a, you know, a site that you want to see or a place that you want to visit or a, a restaurant that you want to eat at at the location that you're going to. Uh, so the action method is really, really powerful for uh, you know, finishing any projects. Now, the thing is that you have to also have a way to structure how you put those projects together and where you put them. Otherwise, you're going to basically just create a big jumble of projects uh, inside of Notion. So your workspace ends up being really, really cluttered. Uh, and that's often what ends up making people crazy because of the fact that they have this really powerful tool, but they don't know what to do with it because of the fact that the workspace is so cluttered. Another method for organizing things, which I have found to also be invaluable, is called uh, Building a Second Brain by Tiago Forte, uh, who's also been a guest on our podcast, The Unmistakable Creative, and I'll include a link to our interview with him there as well. Uh, but he has a very simple organizing principle called PARA, which basically stands for uh, projects, areas of responsibility, and archives. Now, you might be wondering what's the difference between a project and an area of responsibility? Well, a project basically is something that has a finite timeline. There's a deadline at a point at which it'll be done. And uh, I will actually show you an example of one here as well. And so when you have a project, um, basically what you can do is you can actually take the Scott Belsky action method framework and organize it inside of the Tiago Forte second brain framework. And basically, then your areas of responsibility might be something, for example, that you work on on a daily basis. So I'm a writer. I write a thousand words every day. So my uh, writing calendar is actually inside of my areas of responsibility page. Finally, uh, let's go through an example. Now, archives are another thing that's really important because what people don't realize is how much mental bandwidth things that you're not even dealing with take up. So it's best to not have things that you're no longer working on uh, cluttering up your workspace. So. Perfect example, right now, uh, as you probably noticed if you started watching these videos, I've just started this uh, YouTube channel. We tried to start it a year ago, it kind of started dragging, but now our community at Unmistakable Creative is doing something called a 100-day project, so I decided to build out Notion Essentials. Now, I'm gonna show you how I've organized my projects here inside of uh, Notion Essentials, and the great thing is you can actually create a template to do this over and over again. So if you see here, I've taken Scott Belsky's action method and basically replicated it uh, inside of Notion, and you'll see here I have my action steps, 
And you'll see here that, guess what? Here are all the things that I'm working on this week. Um, so for example, there's another video that I created called How Do You Use Your Notion, Notion to Manage Your Knowledge? And I finished that. Um, I built a template for people to develop a writing habit. And I'll, I'll eventually share some of these templates and I'll also do a video on how to do a template. And you can see here, this is today's uh, action item. And right after I, I press stop on this recording, I can go ahead and press completed. And now I have this way of organizing projects inside of Notion. Uh, it's just one example. But the thing is, like, if you go back to my main workspace, which isn't uh, Notion Essentials, but the regular one, you'll see here that it's not cluttered. You know, as it is, there's a few things that I don't want here. But you'll see here that it's very limited. And the thing is that if I go into projects, then that's where you tend to see a lot more. And so as a result, it doesn't become this really sort of overwhelming, chaotic mess. Now, um, that's the, the sort of high level way of setting up your Notion workspace. You know, the, the thing is that you really want to keep it uh, as simple as possible. You don't want it to become unnecessarily complicated. So, you know, first start by identifying what are the important things. Think about this as sort of cleaning out your closet and throwing things away and then reorganizing it. Uh, you know, the, the example I shared with my community was that I was putting together a Lego castle and, you know, the pieces were everywhere and I finally got a couple of trays. I put all the pieces into trays uh, based on type and before I knew it, I was able to finish the thing much faster and execute on it. And so organizing things is really important because if you don't organize, you're going to spend immense amounts of time or waste lots of time executing or trying to find information when you could be taking action. So if you have any questions, you know, leave them in the comments below and uh, I'm showing you around. If you want help with Notion, definitely visit notionessentials.com. And if you need help with getting your Notion set up, visit notionessentials.com and sign up for a free workspace audit.